What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another class at the Burn Down Academy. I'm Eric. I'm Justin. In today's class, we're going to talk to you about five boutique cigars that you may not know about. So class is in session. And like Eric said, we're going to talk about five boutique cigars you may not know about. So first, let's talk about what a boutique cigar is. Pretty much everybody, if you're a seasoned cigar smoker, you know the big name brand cigars. Yeah. Fuente, right? Padron, Davidoff, Oliva, all those guys. Now, boutique cigars are some of the smaller brands, kind of like the mom and pop shops. They're not as well known. So we figure we're going to talk about five boutique cigars you may not know about. Most of the boutique cigars... I don't want to say most, but you probably won't find these in your local shop. You most likely will have to get these online. Mm -hmm. And just because they're not well known or they're not known yet in the cigar industry does not mean they're, they're not good. The reason why boutique cigars are very popular today is because it offers people a different variety. It offers people different options and people like options. So let's talk about it. So the first boutique cigar brand that we're going to talk about is one of our personal favorites. Nova Cigars. Now, Nova Cigars is going to have a teal color, I guess, aqua color. Yeah, teal, aqua, I would, that's exactly what I would call it. Okay, and these are Platinum Nova Cigar is the actual brand name. This happens to be the Perfecto Limited Edition. That happens to be the Leo X, probably one of our favorites of the yes. line. Nova Cigar is a very, very, very good company. We know the owner personally. We've met her plenty of times. We've actually had her on the Burndown podcast. Her cigars are phenomenal. Nova Cigars, I guess you could say, is considered more of the high-end boutique cigars. So if you're in a cigar shop or if you see them on Instagram, you can obviously order these online. But give Nova Cigar a try because these guys know how to make a damn good cigar. So Eric, what's the second boutique cigar we're going to talk about today? <sighs> it's another Burn Down Podcast guest, good friend Jonas from Blackbird Cigars. Now, the reason why we like Blackbird cigars, not obviously because they're good cigars, but we like the labels and the story behind his cigars. Now, if you really want to know the story and how he made them and how he came into making cigars, you can go watch our episode with Jonas from Blackbird. These are another cigar or another boutique cigar you will start to find in your local uh, tobacco shop, your local cigar lounge. You can definitely reach out to him on Instagram. You can definitely reach out to him online and purchase them. He makes all different kinds of cigars. They're named after every single different kind of bird. He has the crow, the rook, the unkind, finch. The cuckoo uh, is my the, favorite. The cuckoo, the jackdaw. So they're very, very good cigars named after all different kinds of birds. If you haven't checked out or if you haven't smoked Blackbird, highly recommend them. So now the next cigar we're going to talk about is a company called Black Label Trading Company. They also have a spinoff, a sister company called Blackwork Studios. These, you probably will find these in your local tobacconist, in your local cigar shop. We're holding up here the Killer Bee uh, Cameroon. This happens to be a very exclusive, very limited run. Um, and then this one over here is the Deliverance. This one is, talk about a powerful stick. This is a damn powerful stick. Power bomb. Uh, pepper bomb, I should pepper say. Pepper bomb is right. Black Work Studio, Black Label Trading Company. Their labels are black. They have some skulls on them. They have very dark images, if you will but it kind of goes in turn with the flavor of the cigar. They're very powerful, they're very dark, very rich, full-bodied sticks. Same as same as this Killer Bee. This, they call it a Killer Bee for a reason because it might kill your palate if you're not ready for it. So if you're not a very, very strong smoker yet, you're not a Maduro, you're not, you can't handle it yet, you like mild cigars, wouldn't recommend the Killer Bee of Deliverance, but once you build up your palate, try them out. So next up, we have from Arch and Del Tobacco, the Viva La Vida. We smoked this on the podcast couple times we smoke it obviously off the podcast this is our favorite cigar from them this is a cigar that you will start to see in your local cigar shop your local cigar tobacconist um, as the years go on but um if you haven't checked these guys out they have all different kinds of sizes this is our favorite size right here this is the um diadema diadema that's right it's a very full-bodied cigar it's great with a whiskey it's great with an ipa beer the label's pretty cool they got like a little jester on it, it looks like a little clown a little joker so fun fact about Viva La Vida is it's actually, or Artesano del Tobacco, it's actually a spinoff or a sister company of AJ Fernandez. So you may have heard of AJ Fernandez. 
This is associated with them. Artesano del Tobacco, Viva La Vida, check them out. So now the last cigar, the last boutique cigar that you may not know about is the Atabe. Now this one is by a company called United Cigars. They have a couple of different brands under United. This happens to be one of our favorites. It's the Atabe. This is gonna be probably medium smoke, I'd yeah. say. It looks a little bit lighter, but I'd say it leans more towards medium. This happens to be a smaller size of it. They do make bigger sizes. You may be able to find these in your local shop. I see a, a couple shops starting to, yeah. to have them. They're popping up. Like we said, for most of all these cigars, as, as the years progress, the boutique brands want to be in the brick and mortar stores. That's how they got a lot more exposure. They're definitely online, and you can definitely find them in select shops. And definitely out of bay, you can find it in some spots across the country. So that's five boutique cigars you may not know about. We highly recommend you check them out. You may find them in some of your brick and mortar shops. You may not, you may have to go online, but that's five boutique cigars you may not know about. Thank you for joining today's class at the Burndown Academy. Class is dismissed.